Coach, welcome. Thank you. I tell you what, I've never heard so much discussion about how training camps should be conducted, you know, how the, uh, the preseason should be carried out. Why don't you give us your kind of your broad philosophy on it all? Yeah, you know, I, I mean, it has been definitely a topic of discussion. I have to answer a lot of questions about that. You know, I'm just kind of looking back at all my experiences in my past from uh, my time before Green Bay and then my time at Green Bay. And um, I think first and foremost, it always starts with the quarterback. And when you have a quarterback that is a veteran that has done it for as long as you can, you have the ability to potentially be able to protect your team. And uh, for us, we want to have those highly uh, efficient practices, the ones that are going to be super high impact, I mean, just going full speed nonstop. And you want to have as good of practices as you can from that standpoint. So that's why we want to try to protect them earlier and then be able to get that full go practice on that next day. And, and that's something that we did at Green Bay. It's something that, you know, we were, we were very healthy, you know, knock on wood um, during that time. Mm -hmm. I think that helped us at the end of the season. Mm -hmm. um, I, I had been part of teams that, you know, we had gotten 120 snaps. I mean, maxed out the time and win every single day. And, th you know, there was some good about that. I can't, I can't say that there, there wasn't. I just, uh, over time, it's about the guys being fresh. You know, whoever's the freshest team, whoever's the healthiest team is the one that ends up winning in the, in the long run. I, I think all of us kind of are in the prism of the moment. Mm -hmm. And so is this good, the way you're conducting things for week one, week two? But, uh, you know, the Rams and the Packers, who don't play anybody in the preseason, they're there in week 17, week 16. I guess we didn't, we, have, we haven't thought about that, that the season goes into February or into January now. Hopefully February. Yeah, yes. And hopefully February. Yes. So, uh, and, and that is a key. And this team, frankly, the Broncos, have uh, suffered from attrition. Roster-wise, I just think years. that I think that's just so important. I mean, it's funny looking back at last year. We were 0 and 3 in the preseason. Mm -hmm. um, we lot we got beat pretty bad our first game. We were so we were 0 and 1, and everybody was you know in the moment. You know, were we doing the right stuff? And then you, know, you went on a run nine in a row. And I mean, that, that's mm -hmm. that's really I, I believe it was nine in a row. But I mean, in the end, that's what you have to create at some point. You got to get on a run during the season, and the way you do that again is by health and uh, and those guys feeling good. You know, this roster, by and large, was 7-10 and 10 last year. You've, you've had some nice additions, namely number three, Rus Russell Wilson. And, you know, uh, here lately, I, I think it's come from Seattle. Uh, you know, there's some a negative narrative on his play and where he stands. I mean, he's looked good to me. Do you mean that, uh, no pun intended, like standing in the pocket and working down the middle? <laughs> yeah, um, no pun intended. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you know, uh, I've, I've gone against him so many times in yeah. my past, and I mean, he's been an electric football player. I mean, it doesn't matter you know, where you are in the game, whether you're up, whether you're down, I mean, the guy's always got a chance to win the game. I mean, I remember you know, we scored a touchdown, he came back, hit an 80-yard touchdown, we hit another touchdown, he came back and hit another touchdown. So, I mean, he's always been so good, you know, every time I, I've been able to watch him play. And uh, from our standpoint, I mean, He's done everything and more for us, both getting the players ready, being an amazing leader, or learning the system, understanding the system, working together to build our own system. And uh, he's been able to make every throw on the field, whether it's inside, outside, short, long. I mean, it's, it's, it's been really fun to be a part of.